Hello, I'm Kalen with Pivot Cycles. In this video, I'll be introducing our Swinger UDH chainstay length adjustment and providing a step-by-step -step guide on how to make the adjustments. Chainstay length is always an important consideration when designing a bike, as it affects the handling characteristics when pedaling and ascending. A bike's category is also important because different types of riding require the bike to handle and perform in different ways. We knew an adjustable chainstay length would give riders ultimate freedom to choose what they wanted based on their preferences and the types of trails they are riding. We also wanted to create an adjustment that was integrated into the frame that didn't require different dropouts or a lot of parts. The Swinger UDH chainstay adjustment design uses Pivot's existing Swinger dropout patent, which has been used on our less single speed and less fat to manage geo adjustments while maintaining correct drivetrain setup. It was also the perfect solution designing a simple chainstay adjustment for our full suspension mountain bikes. So what exactly will the two chainstay positions do to your bike's handling? When the axle's in the forward position, this gives you shorter chainstays for effortless manuals and a more tucked in rear wheel feel for maneuverability. With the axle in the rearward position, the chainstay length is eight millimeters longer, providing increased traction, more confidence, and better stability with the longer wheelbase. Changing the chainstay length position is a relatively simple process, but does require adjusting your brake mount, derailleur, swinger UDH flip chip, and in some cases, a different length chain. Because the two chainstay lengths are significantly different, in most cases, you'll need to use a different length chain so that your drivetrain will shift and operate properly. We'll cover the lengths needed later in the video. We recommend this entire process be done in your garage prior to a ride, rather than trail side to ensure adjustments are made properly and bolts are torqued to spec. Now let's jump into how to change the Swinger UDH chainstay adjustment position. Begin by loosening the rear axle and removing your rear wheel. On the outside of the drive side, you will see three bolts. Loosen all three bolts, but you only need to remove the lower two bolts. Leaving the upper bolt lets you pivot the dropout without fully removing it. If you're going from short to long, you want to install the rubber gap filler. If you're going from long to short, you'll remove this. Apply a small amount of medium strength blue Loctite 243 or an equivalent to the drive side dropout mounting bolts. Rotate the dropout to the position you want and insert the dropout mounting bolts. Torque all three bolts to eight newton meters. On the inside of the drive side dropout, move the stopper bolt to its corresponding spot for short or long. Torque the stopper bolt to five newton meters. Now on the non-drive side, we'll loosen the flip chip screw. Press the flip chip out and rotate it 180 degrees to match the setting on the drive side and snug the bolt back down. This is just wedging the chip into the frame, so no need to go too tight. Next, we'll need to adjust the swinger brake bracket. Loosen and remove the brake caliper mounting bolts. Remove and rotate the brake adapter and bolts to the adjustment you would like. There is an arrow on the bracket that's etched short or long. The arrow pointing to the front of the bike is the adjustment position. Install your mounting bolts, leaving them slightly loose to center the rotor when you reinstall the wheel. Confirm you have all the parts in the same position for short or long. Reinstall your rear wheel.
Adjust your rear caliper to center the rotor and torque the caliper mounting bolts to 8 Nm. The final adjustment is installing the correct chain length and adjusting your drivetrain for proper shifting. If you have gone from the short to the long setting, then in most cases you'll need to use a new chain that is two lengths longer. Going from long to short, you'll often need a chain that is two lengths short. Install the chain and adjust your derailleur using your drivetrain setup information. If you have SRAM transmission, refer to the full mount setup guide. If you have Shimano, then shift your derailleur into the largest cog and adjust your B tension. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy testing out the different handling your Firebird can have with the Swinger UDH adjustment.